No more, it is joining, and there is a new animated story channel on the block. I need you to know that this animated story contains perhaps the most insane twist we have ever seen on one of these channels. I didn't talk about that in the intro because I didn't know in the intro, but I'm telling you now. Seriously. I'm talking about Life Diary Animated. Because when you're coming up with one of these channels, you, you choose Story, Animated, sure, Chuck Life or Diary in there. Just any random mix of any of those words. And then you pay uh, seemingly the exact same artist to create your thumbnails. If you're new on the block, you might ask the artist to uh, make the thumbnails a little bit more... Uh, mature to attract some of the initial viewers so that you can find your initial audience. I don't know. But today we're going to be having a look at Life Diary Animated, or I guess better known by their at Life Diary Animated 9235. <laughs> Very catchy. I guess uh, the 9,234 other ones were taken. But hey, it's the holiday season, so let's get a little bit thematic here with my secret Santa give unexpected gift. <laughs> Hey, isn't that kind of the point of the of Secret Santas? Let's see how this new channel fares. Hi, I'm Selena. I wonder if you believe in Santa Claus, especially when you receive an untitled gift on Christmas like me. <laughs> no, sorry. I do not uh, believe in Santa Claus, despite the fact that I got a Secret Santa gift one time. Wait, is the Secret Santa actually Santa? Please like, subscribe, and let's discover who is sending me gifts. Okay. It was on the 20th of December when I received the first present. Someone secretly left a gift box in front of my door. Very cute. Without the sender's name. What do you mean? <laughs> the sender is a poly drone heart. And also had a bow and a heart on top. When I opened the box, it was no a heart. cute red scarf with white pattern. The gift made me think of Diego. Okay, well, there you go. Problem <laughs> mystery solved. <laughs> Some great new channel this one is. 40 second animated stories. Honestly, make it a thing. Diego, Diego sent you a scarf. Good story. My boyfriend, we'd only just met, so we'd never celebrated Christmas together. Oh. Maybe he wanted to surprise me, so he prepared the secret gift for me. I suppose. The twist here is that he didn't. If it is not Diego, then who, who might it be? There's got to be some wild twist here coming up. You don't make a new animated story channel uh, without trying to one up all the other animated story channels. Oh, I didn't know just how right I would be. I happily put the scarf around my neck and went to school. I ah. quickly... And Diego, yeah, I was about to say, Diego's probably got some questions. Hey, would you, uh, would you get that scarf? Oh, I got it as a gift. A gift? From who? I don't know. There wasn't a name. <laughs> Likely story. Found Diego among the crowd since he was so tall. Oh, hey, Diego, handsome. look at me. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, okay. She's really just like, <laughs> check it out. Some other boy got me this. Wink, wink. It's really suits you, but don't forget to wear gloves. <laughs> yes, Diego. I already like him. It's really suit you, uh, but don't forget to wear gloves. Fingers are all red. Hey, put on my gloves. Oh. His glove was too big gentleman. for me. It was hard to keep it from coming off, but it was warm, just like how he looked after for me. I didn't know your taste is that good. You chose oh. exactly what I like. Oh. Oh, and he's like, wait, what do you, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> she thinks Diego got her the, the, the scarf and he's like, oh, no, 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 I'm not that good. I, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Huh? I don't really get it. Choose what? Aren't you the one who sent me this scarf? Diego's face went blank and so did I. If it wasn't him, it was probably Phoebe. Probably. Since childhood to adulthood, Probably, we always went to the same school, so we were very close. Yeah, we can tell each other everything. Yeah, but I and buy each other scarves. Yep, that's that's got to be it. Never received any Christmas present from her. She always said, "Christmas gifts are for kids only. Real ladies don't need them." Oh, okay. Well, it's probably not Phoebe then. What are you talking about? It's probably Phoebe. If the what? If the thing that she is known for saying is that Christmas gifts are for kids and adults don't need them, then why do you assume she's the one who got you the scarf? I'm not sure, but what if she changed her mind and was nah. too shy to put her name on the gift box? 
Uh, because she's embarrassed about how firmly she stood on the- Oh, I really have to buy this scarf. Gotta buy this scarf for Selena. But, uh, she's gotta make fun of me. Because I so firmly believe that gifts are not for adults. Adults don't need things. They certainly don't need to give them to other people. That's silly. Are you shy to put her name on the gift box? I said goodbye to Diego and saw Phoebe in the ladies' restroom. Uh, I immediately gave her a hug, showing her how excited I was about- Okay, uh, going out on a limb there. Ah, I really like what you got me! You know, the gift. That thing that you're really against. Giving. I love to gift. You're the best friend in the world. What? Someone got you a gift? What are you, a child? I thought we were friends. I'm not gonna be friends with a child. <laughs> What the hell are you saying? I don't understand anything. Huh? Aren't you the one who gave me this towel? <laughs> Hold up, uh, Selena. You're wearing a towel around your neck? I hope you know that they're not interchangeable. Functionally, yes. Uh, and you know what? Actually, I take it back. I'll power to you. If you, want, if you want to wear a Christmas towel around your neck, then who, who am I to stop you? Of course. Who would act like a child? So was I mistaken again? I couldn't stop thinking about the mysterious sender that whole day, so I couldn't concentrate on my studies. Uh, if it was not Diego or Phoebe. It wasn't Diego, it wasn't Phoebe, and 2 plus 2 doesn't equal 22. I'll get one of these right one day. <laughs> it could probably be my dad. No, my father probably. is a bridge engineer. He's yep. a very passionate about his work and is often away from home. Yep, and so it makes sense that he might send you a towel slash scarf slash we'll find out eventually what it actually is. When winter comes, the roads are very damaged by ice and snow. So it has been a long time since the family has celebrated Christmas together. Ah, uh, okay. When yep. I got home, I immediately video call with him. Yeah, and I didn't ask him. I did what I just did for the previous two people and just acted like it was them. Because I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna act like it and make a really confusing situation for everyone. Hi, Dad. I miss you so much. I miss you too, Selena. <laughs> I miss your mother too. Oh. By the way, nice graph. Nice graph. <laughs> oh, so it is a, so it is a scraff. Is it really that nice? Like, let's be, be real here for a second. C could a scarf be so nice uh, that everyone, people, people who haven't even seen you in ages your own dad before having a proper conversation with you just has to just has to stop in the middle of saying hello to compliment how beautiful your scraff is by the way nice graph you said it for me don't you huh no i didn't if you want a christmas present i'll buy it for you later okay do you want teddy bears or clothes i'm not a kid anymore dad although uh What's this teddy beer? Is it a craft brewery? Is it a, is a beer made out of teddies? Is it made by teddies? How do teddies play into this beer? I don't want presents. Could you please come home to celebrate Christmas with me? <laughs> oh, honey, uh, you know I can't do that. I'm working on this road. I got this hole in this road. Yeah, look, I don't want, I don't want presents. Actually, you don't need to get me anything. All I want is just to chill with you, but you can't give that to me, can you? Dad. Well, about this, I'm working Salida. I'll call you later, okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, listen, uh, I, I gotta get back to work. Again, Dad always avoided answering when I said uh. I want him to come home early. So this Christmas, it was just me and my mother at home. Ah, uh, shame you couldn't figure out who the mysterious sender was, because I'm sure he would have liked to join you and your mother. Your boyfriend? Uh, was it too early? You said it was too early, right? Too early to celebrate Christmas with you? Or something? You're probably wondering why I didn't think of my mother as the one who sent the present, right? Yeah. Simply because she only gives me cookies every year. Right. <laughs> my okay. mother is a baker and owns a pastry <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, carrying on. <laughs> no, 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 okay, we get, We need a full explanation as to why she only gives you cookies. It's because she's a baker, and she can't be bothered doing anything else. She's got plenty of leftover cookies. So there you go, daughter. In town, her shop is not very famous. She was sad because the best seller in the store read instead of the beautiful and sweet cupcakes that she loved. Whenever the shop had too many cakes left over, she would bring them back to me. Yeah. And those Christmas cookies were exactly unsold. So she turned them into gifts for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is this you saying that the nice thing? Because uh, it seems like a 
Seems like a little bit of a cop-out gift. Just giving away unsold stock. Things are go like they're gonna go bad by tomorrow anyway. So I get yeah, there you go. That's that's your Christmas present. That's all you're getting. I suddenly remember that my mother did not bring some cakes to home for a long time. Perhaps the store had become more famous and crowded. Ah. So there were no more items in stock. Maybe Okay. Right, okay. Maybe this year she she went, ah dang it, need to actually buy her something. I don't I don't know. I guess I'll get her a, a scrap or, or, or a towel or... That's why she brought me another gift this year. When I arrive at this... But, but she left it at your door? Do you live at the same house? My mother greeted me with a delicious fruit cake. The store was empty as usual, in opposition to my wishes. <laughs> why did you make it when you know no one would buy it? But I always knew you would love to eat it. Hi. <sighs> I'll round out. Haze. I'll round out. <laughs> Can we get some haze all round outs in the comments? It's the latest phrase. All the kids are saying it. I believe that even if you are as plump as a partridge, Diego was to like you. Mom! Oh, is that what she meant when she said I'll round out? Haze I'll round out. She meant like, I can't eat a whole cake because like, you know, at the very least I'll get a little bit bloated. Hey, listen, Diego will still like you if you look like a partridge. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Real supportive. Don't make fun of me. So you didn't come here to show off that your boyfriend gave you a present? It suits you very well. <laughs> Are we gonna talk about that scarf you got? Because boy, that is one beautiful scarf. <laughs> At this point, I really can't explain it anymore. The list of people capable of giving me gifts. That's it, extinguished. Four people, if it's not them, it can't be anyone. Been eliminated. I told my mother about the mysterious gift. She looked very confused. Huh? Huh? You get a mysterious gift? This is a bad sign. <laughs> she looks terrified. I think maybe they sent it to the wrong address. Oh well. This Honest explanation basis. did have a point. Until the next morning, I continued to receive the same gift box. Oh. This time, I did not open it. Oh. Uh, what? But left it where it was, nah. hoping its true owner would come and get it back. I what? went to school and couldn't stop thinking about the gift box. But what's what in it? What if a bad guy comes- Some gloves! Steal it. Or the neighbor's dog comes to bite it. Yeah, yeah, maybe you better open it and keep what's inside because the neighbor's dog might bite it. Every time I felt anxious, my stomach immediately twist. I rush into the girl's restroom. Luckily- I think she's overthinking this uh, gift thing. Get a scarf, get some cool things, move on. <laughs> it was almost time for school, so there was still room. Meanwhile, I heard two girls talking outside. Hey, did you hear the news? What news? Someone's- Hey, did you hear the news? <laughs> I always start conversations like that. Someone saw Diego and Phoebe dating. Oh, that's the news. Did you- Obviously I'm talking about the fact that someone saw Diego and Phoebe dating. Wait, Phoebe? That's not her name. Wait, Phoebe's the friend. Oh boy, there's always a twist. Uh, this was not. The twist. Diego and Phoebe dating. Huh? Isn't Diego Selena's boyfriend? Eh. Phoebe and Selena are still best friends, aren't they? Who knows? I just heard that too. I waited until they were gone before coming out. Women's toilets are really the number one choice when it comes to bad-mouthing others. <laughs> Diego and Phoebe? There was no way they would betray me. Both of them. Diego isn't even yeah. Phoebe's type. Nah. Before that, when I told Phoebe that I had a she doesn't like boys with band-aids on their faces. Need to go on a date with Diego. She wasn't happy at all. Oh, well, okay, Diego, well, the big guy from the karate oh, club. Right. He looks so fierce, Selena. Yeah, I don't think that means that she. I don't think that means that he wasn't her type. I think you. I think you misread that. Looks like the type of guy who would hit a girl when angry. Okay, never mind. I take that back. She's probably not into him. I just like tall, polite guys. <laughs> it's funny how. <laughs> Mama <laughs> thought she likes Diego. I had to tell her this story and then made a joke. Oh. 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 This is gonna take a turn. I looked for Phoebe everywhere, from the classroom to the schoolyard, and couldn't find her. Finally, someone told me seeing her go up the roof. Oh. And that's when I. What a classic anime moment. Realized the only funny person here was me. <laughs> Diego and Phoebe were standing really close to each other, and with just two of them alone, I secretly came closer to hear what they were talking about. And to my surprise, 
They were talking about me. <gasps> Did you see? Wait, is it just the two of them getting her gifts, but they just don't? But they just don't want to tell her that it was them. Scarf Diego? She said that was just the mistaken of the sender. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she would say such a word. It's <laughs> obvious that someone likes her. That's why she liked to you. Oh, okay. There's some serious gossiping going on on the roof. To be fair though, fitting location. Fitting location for this kind of chat. What do you mean? Selena is cheating on you. Oh. She's dating another guy. I got furious and confused at the same time. Baby. How can my best friend think so badly of me? And how can I explain the gift? Some best friend get a gift in the mail and your best friend is like, well, she is cheating. <laughs> I believe that I had to find the real owner of the gift to prove that I'm not two-handed. Mm. The next day... Not, not two-handed. Um, Single-handed. Only one hand for me. I only have one hand. I planned to get up very early and hid behind the door. Sure enough, there was a figure approached, oh. carried a gift box, and secretly left it in front of my house. Grab it. Who are you? Oh. The man Ow. was about to... <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I've been found out. The man was about to run away when I pulled his shirt back. Run away when I pulled his shirt back. You're not a postman. You're the one who left the presents at my door two days ago, right? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why are you doing it? <laughs> Why would you do this to someone? You're ruining my life. Please, let me go. No, until you explain everything to me. Why did you do that? Yeah. I was... <laughs> what is wrong with you? Just giving people gifts. Do you ever think about how that makes the person feel? Being there was some mistake, but no. The truth was much more surprised than I expected. Oh. It turned out that the gift box was not sent to me. But to my mother. Uh, oh. uh, my name is Otis. You're. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't write a two. You understand that as a secret Santa, the recipient is not the secret, it's the sender. You're allowed to write who the gift is to. Father and I are getting to know each other. Ooh. We have known each other for a long time. You lie. Man, yeah, yeah, okay. Make up your mind, buddy. Mother and I are getting to know each other. We've known each other for a long time. Which is it? My mother loves my father so much. She will never do such a... Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. She's married. Uh, okay. No, I'm, I'm starting to understand here. It's never an animated story without family dramas. We should have seen this coming from a mile away. I thought maybe because it was a new channel, we could have avoided family dramas. Uh, but no. We got divorced parents. It's always divorced parents. We got divorced parents. Dad's not coming home because... Uh, Listen, yeah, when he left to go get those cigarettes, to, to go to the other country, to get those cigarettes, he's he's not coming back. This is the truth. I usually come to your mother's store. She feel lonely while her husband wasn't at home all the time. I didn't want to trust him, but all the clues fit <laughs> together perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sly. The store was empty, but there was no stock. My mother was confused by the gift and the fact that my father had not been home for a long time. So she was having an affair and oh. Otis was the one who brought all the cakes to make her happy. Wait, are you saying this is the situation? This is, is this, is this confirmed? I was extremely upset and couldn't go to school. <laughs> I couldn't even talk or look at my mother's face anymore. Don't Whoa. you have lunch? Are you sick? I'm a bit tired, mom. I just need a good night's sleep. I stayed up all night, couldn't put myself to fall asleep. Mm. My father didn't come home. My mother was having an affair. Mm. My boyfriend and best friend were suspicious of me. I'm still not convinced it's an affair. I feel like they just haven't told you. I'm too embarrassed to explain that the gift came from my mother's mistress. Oh, that was a, that was a mistress. That's an interesting detail. Why was life so hard for me? By morning, I decided I couldn't just sit back and watch it all unfold. I wanted to meet that man and ask- Wait, hold on. Is it a man or is it a mistress? To stay away from my mother. I didn't want my mom and dad to get divorced. I have to do something to protect this family. Yeah. Ah, how do we tell her? I waited until my mother left the house and followed her. I found a nearby bush and hid. Soon after, Otis appeared suspiciously. Strangely, he didn't enter the store right away. Is he like a cult member or something? What's with this little this little badge on his jacket? But waited until the customers left before entering. Huh? 
So that's how they secretly date each other without anyone noticing? I slowly approached and peered through the window. Mm, bad move. <laughs> hey, look, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would keep the peering to a minimum. Found Otis behind the counter. Oh. But my mother was nowhere to be found. Okay. What Just was don't, he- Don't look- Don't look any harder. <laughs> Just turn around now. There's still time for you. Doing? Did he want to steal money? Oh no! It was my mother's handkerchief! Why did he take it? Oh. After stealing the handkerchief, Otis immediately left. I chased after him, furiously snatching back my mother's handkerchief. Why you stole it? Aren't you dating with my mother right now? No one would steal their lover's handkerchief. Yeah, no one would do that. If you're dating someone, no way you would... Uh, have their handkerchief. Otis was surprised for a moment and then became aggressive. Oh. He snatched the handkerchief and suddenly raised his fist. Oh, dang, Otis! I was so scared that I lost my voice. I could only cover my head and close my eyes. Just then, Diego appeared and kicked him in the face. Hey, Diego, I knew I liked this guy. Are you okay? I'm fine, but he is. Why are you here? I'm fine, but he is. Diego scratched his head in confusion. His expression completely different from before. He cleared it. Wait, he's in on this? Throat and said, I was worried when I heard you missed school. Huh. You also did not respond to messages. Mm. Oh my god! I was distracted by Otis, so I forgot to check my phone. I wanted to tell him everything, but didn't know where to start. Mm. I, I want to say... say... You speak, you speak first! first. <laughs> we both laughed and then Diego opened up. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll make you sad. So, I always hide one thing. It's Phoebe, your best friend, who clued to me like a shadow and talked nonsense all the time. I told her to stop, but... <laughs> Why are you smiling? I have understood everything about Phoebe talking behind my back. Hey, 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 no, this is fine. I have understand all of this. Yeah, no, he's fine. That uh, Phoebe thinks I'm a terrible person <laughs> and tries to actively get us to break up. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. Ah, oh, I'm just glad you understand. And about what my mom is hiding. I told Diego everything and decided to be frank with my family. Is uh, is Otis just like on the floor unconscious? What's the deal? What <laughs> have we at least like propped him up on his side or something? <laughs> I pretended to be seriously ill and forced my dad to go home. I told my father that my mother was harassed by a pervert stalking her. He also lied and intended to attack me. My mother burst into tears when she knew I was in danger and my father regretted for neglecting his family. I'm sorry, Selena. You're in danger because of me. It's my fault. From now on, I will regret- I'm- uh, hold on. Was is the mum was the mum actually seeing him or was he just like what what's the situation here? Because she's like, oh, I'm sorry, it's my fault. But like, is it? Are you were like, <laughs> were you actively? Are you are you having relations with this man, mum? We need to know. It's my word to come home more often. <laughs> okay. Finally, Christmas Day had come and it was warmer than I expected. We invited Diego to come over and share Christmas <laughs> presents. Okay, what? <laughs> Wait, is this a happily ever after? When Diego kissed me under the mistletoe, my father got mad and That's my mother giggled. Good. She hugged her father and suddenly said, I'm two months pregnant. Selena is going to be a bit. What? <laughs> That's it. That is the most shocking plot twist we've ever had in an animated story. Otis! Selena's gonna be a big sister to Otis's kid? I don't understand. Sister. Is that why you hit the Otis thing for me? <laughs> yes. I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. But now, I don't think so anymore. What? Afraid you wouldn't believe her that you're pregnant because he's like well i don't make sense I, i'm not around i've been at work for the past two months oh yeah well i was afraid you wouldn't believe me but now that you do and you know about otis uh, it's all good yeah i'm pregnant so uh woo! we are family and family always believe and never hide from each other yeah and this is evident this your your family is pure evidence of that <laughs> a younger brother it's the best christmas gift in the world have I misunderstood something here? 
Have I misunderstood who the dad is of this of this uh, new baby boy? It started off so normal. I was worried that we had accidentally found a normal animated story channel that just told regular stories. I'm actually gobsmacked. 